Scientists speculate that there's a total of 8.7 million animal species living on Earth, which means there are 7.5 million species yet to be discovered. Pretty crazy, right? Plus, they think that there are a lot more undiscovered animals living in the sea than on the land. Some even think that a staggering 91% of sea animals are yet to be discovered. Wrap your heads around that. So that means there are some living things out there that we have no idea what they look like. If these 15 creatures were not filmed, no one would believe it. The Nautilus species A new species of Nautilus was discovered in Fiji. Scientists began their study of the Nautilus in 2013 and found this amazing new species, adding that the discovery of the new species is very rare. They not only found them, they captured the first digital images of them alive in the wild and attached tracking devices that are revealing some of the oldest and deepest secrets of their survival. Nautilus the name conjures images of Jules Verne and the United States Navy with its first atomic submarine and hidden between them, the name giving animal itself. Among biologists, it's the survival that inspires them most for the simple reason that it appears to be one of the great survivors on planet Earth, almost a living fossil. They're an ancient lineage of animals because their distinctive shells appear in the fossil record over an impressive 500 million year period. Recent sightings indicate that there's still much to learn about these creatures. What an amazing animal! Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. A farmer discovered something terrifying outside his farm fields. That's an understatement. This creature is giving us alien vibes, big time. Maybe we're looking at a piece of pop culture history. The world was worrying about the threat of world war when rancher W. W. Bratzel walked into the sheriff's office in Corona, New Mexico. On a hot, dusty day over 75 years ago, to report a flying disc he might have found on his property, about 100 miles northwest of Roswell Army Airfield. The next day, July 8, 1947, the public information officer at the base issued a news release stating the U.S. Army Air Forces had recovered a flying saucer at the ranch. While military brass quickly retracted the statement, it was too late. The legend of Roswell, as the UFO capital of the world, was already soaring. It would not blow up again until 1978 when mainstream media ran more articles about the incident. All of a sudden, new versions of the event emerged, some from the original participants, with reports of an actual spacecraft, alien bodies, and a government cover-up adding new layers to the legend. The event that we know today as the Roswell incident gave birth to the modern movement of UFO sightings, along with the genre of alien science fiction. Convinced? Tell us about it in the comments using hashtag sweet topic. Sierra Nevada Red Fox The photos of the Sierra Nevada Red Fox portray a healthy animal with a happy step and a foxy alert nature. The wonder of the photo lies with the elusiveness of the creature who, without this footage, may have remained hidden for many more years. What is certain is that there are very few Sierra Nevada red foxes, and this fact gives urgency to seek vital information about the animals to eventually increase their population. One of the rarest animals in North America, the Sierra Nevada red fox, has been caught on camera in California's Yosemite National Park for the first time in nearly a century. The little seen fox was sighted north of the park in 2010, but no one's seen it inside the park's boundaries since 1916. To say researchers are excited would be an understatement. The Sierra Nevada red fox is incredibly rare, with as few as 50 individuals thought to exist in North America. Prized for their vibrant coats, red fox populations were devastated by hunting and trapping during the 19th and 20th centuries. It's time for a comeback. Bracken Batcave Meshweaver Spider Strange spider alert! An endangered species of spider not seen in more than three decades unexpectedly appeared in northwest San Antonio. Biologists and science people rejoiced. The spider, no bigger than a dime, showed up in the middle of a $15.1 million highway underpass project, and work stopped immediately. Biologists discovered the eyeless spider, called the Bracken Batcave Meshweaver, after rain exposed a six-foot-deep natural hole in the highway's median. Construction was halted after a taxonomist confirmed the creature indeed was the endangered meshweaver, named for the special type of web that it spins. 
While little is known about the spiders, considering their mysterious history, we know that the spiders are a core component of their ecosystems, functioning as the secondary consumers that most other cave organisms prey on. And in this particular case of nature versus man-made road, the arachnid wins. The highway project was delayed. Spider 1, Highway 0. The project became subject to the Endangered Species Act. It meant we had to stop everything altogether until further notice. <laughs> deep Sea Squid Scientists spotted an elusive giant squid in its deep ocean habitat in American waters for the first time. Giant squids inhabit the ocean at depths of 980 to 3,280 feet where pressures are high and very little sunlight penetrates. The giant squid has long been the subject of myth given its enormous size and the fact that the dead ones occasionally wash up on shore. On an expedition in the Gulf of Mexico, 100 miles south of New Orleans, footage taken showed a giant squid attacking the camera's fake jellyfish, an optical e-jelly lure, which mimics the bioluminescence of the deep-sea jellyfish. Stories of the Great Tentacled Kraken in Scandinavia are some of the earliest indications that such monsters were thought to exist. Giant squid have also left evidence of their existence tangled up in fishing nets and washed ashore all over the world. Despite their massive size, adults can grow to about 40 feet from tip to tentacle and weigh up to 610 pounds, searching for them has been a needle in a haystack endeavor. The Tiger Quoll While most people will never get the chance to see an Australian tiger quoll in the wild, the rare animal has been captured on camera. Researchers set up 90 sites with motion-activated cameras and isolated in urban areas in the hope of getting a glimpse of Australia's biggest marsupial carnivore. In one of the images, a tiger quoll can be seen wandering the bush floor, with a native lyre bird in the background, while another climbs a stump. Using chicken wings as bait, nine tiger quolls were lured towards the cameras and captured. They live in rainforest, wet forest, dry forest, and coastal heartland. They were once common throughout Victoria to southeast South Australia, along Queensland and in Tasmania. They're now extremely rare or extinct in most of their former range. Northern New South Wales is currently the only area where they are still in good numbers and of course that area was severely burnt in the 2020 brush fires. These are native marsupial carnivores related to Tasmanian devils. They are some of the largest remaining marsupial carnivores in the world. <laughs> Blue Dragon Sea Slug When most people think of slugs, they probably think of the ugly blobs in their gardens at home. But there's a whole different kind of slug that you need to know about. The Blue Dragon Sea Slug. Not only is it visually stunning, it possesses abilities unlike any other creature on Earth. It stores the stinging powers created by the creatures on which it feeds, including venomous siphonophores and Portuguese man o wars. These cells are stored and concentrated, so when it's touched, the blue dragon can release these stinging cells to pack an even more powerful punch. Though they look like the left-behind offspring of some alien creature, these bizarre creatures are 100% earth-bred. They're actually not all that different from your average garden snail, just a little bit more colorful and often extremely poisonous. These beautiful but dangerous sea slugs can be found throughout oceans around the world, from temperate to tropical waters. So if you come across one, it's best to admire its beautiful blue colors from a distance. <coughs> snow Leopard Family Check out this amazing footage of a snow leopard family. The den sites of female snow leopards and their cubs have been captured on tape for the first time. Referred to by locals as Asia's mountain ghost, knowledge of snow leopards in general is quite limited due to the cat's elusive nature, and even less is known about rearing cubs and cub survival in the wild. Because of the snow leopard's secretive and elusive nature, coupled with the extreme and treacherous landscape which they inhabit, dens have been extremely difficult to locate. And for sure, the female of the female and her cub who were bedded down in a partially man-made den was recorded from a safe distance. Researchers spent years trying to determine when and where snow leopards give birth, the size of their litters, and the chances a cub has of surviving. Knowledge about the first days and weeks of life is vital to understanding big cat populations and how likely it is for a newborn to reach adulthood and contribute to a healthy population. Amazing to see! The Golden Pheasant This bird is worth a million bucks. 
The golden pheasant is one of the most beautiful birds worldwide. Also known as the Chinese pheasant, the golden pheasant is native to forests and mountainous areas of western China. A film crew visited the Kinling Mountains and recorded precious footage of the amazing bird living in the wild. The footage shows a bachelor pheasant desperate to find a wife, but involved in a fight with a mischievous squirrel. Does it finally get a date? <laughs> we hope so. Elsewhere, a male golden pheasant video of the bird as it strutted around the back garden and came up in the sun lounge window. Great stuff! The golden pheasant is usually considered to be timid, preferring to stick to dense woodland and only rarely glimpsed in forest clearings. The golden pheasant was introduced from China about 100 years ago. The nest that they make is literally just a little hollow in the ground and their eggs are bright white, much like the chickens. In China, the bird is considered to be a sign of good luck and prosperity, and you can see why. The bird just looks lucky. A billion Chinese people couldn't possibly be wrong. <laughs> white Lions of Ukraine White lion cubs were just born in a zoo in the Ukraine, and who doesn't love big cat cubs? Especially rare white lions are the product of a color mutation rarely seen in the wild, so most white lions live in zoos where they are selectively bred for the white coloring. The newborn cubs made their first appearance in front of the cameras with park owner Oleg Zubkov, known as the Lion Whisperer because he's able to walk among the big cats without being killed. Russian-born Zubkov is famous for fearlessly entering his safari park compound with dozens of lions and somehow emerging unscathed every day. He claims to talk to the big cats, meaning they do not attack him or guess he brings close to them. The quadruplets made the public debut at the park after conveniently being born on World Lion Day. The coloring of the white lions is due to a genetic mutation endemic to this South African region. There are around a dozen living in the wild, and the earliest recorded sighting of a white lion was back in 1938. So this is very special footage. Australian Sea Snakes Watch where you swim in Australia. A new species of venomous sea snake has been discovered in treacherous seas off northern Australia. Scientists cruising shallow seagrass beds recently captured nine of the rough-scaled reptiles. Each of the specimens was found on the rocky sea floor, a habitat that could explain the new species' uniquely strong scales. The new hydrophis, literally water serpent, is apparently rare, and it lives in coastal habitats largely avoided by fishers. Little is known about the yellowish-brown reptile other than it gives birth to live young and, like nearly all live-bearing sea snakes, is venomous and potentially dangerous to humans. Two species of venomous sea snakes that were thought to be extinct have been discovered slithering off the coast of Western Australia. In 2011, many scientists presumed they were extinct. However, every once in a while, researchers would hear anecdotal stories about sea snake sightings and hope that new discoveries could be made. And they were. These sea snakes are epic. The Florida Panther The discovery of a female Florida panther lying with a broken leg on the verge outside the town of Naples in Florida triggered a widespread rescue alert. Conservationists, who had previously fitted a tracking collar to the animal, were aware she had recently given birth. They realized the kittens would not survive on their own, and so an urgent search for them was launched. It was the first time a Florida panther family had been rescued, rehabilitated, and released back into the wild together, and an image of the two young males anesthetized prior to a final pre-release checkup. Every individual actually is important to the population. Today, the only place with wild Florida panthers is the southwestern tip of Florida, and there are only 120 to 130 Florida panthers left in the wild. They're found in southern Florida in swamplands such as the Everglades National Park and Big Cypress National Preserve. This large, charismatic cat is the mascot for dozens of schools across the state, and tens of thousands of residents have paid extra for a specialty Protect the Panther Florida license plate, raising funds to help the panther thrive. The Ruby Sea Dragon in a gem of a find, scientists have filmed the ruby sea dragon, a brilliantly colored fish related to seahorses, in the wild for the first time. The footage, filmed in Western Australia, also marks the first time that the 10-inch long fish has been seen alive. 
The ruby sea dragon was declared a new species in early 2015, making it just the third known sea dragon species, as well as the first discovered in 150 years. But after four dives with a remote-controlled mini-submarine, they managed to film two ruby sea dragons more than 160 feet underwater. The researchers got what they came for, the first ever field sightings of the fish, the two ruby sea dragons on video for nearly 30 minutes, with the scientists uncovering new details about their anatomy, habitat, and behavior. The team was incredibly lucky since finding two sea dragons in one day on a single dive, no less. I discovered a third species of sea dragon. It's almost unheard of. Like seahorses, sea dragons are difficult to keep in captivity. While it's not illegal to own one, Australia prohibits their capture, only granting permits for research and conservation efforts. Dwarf Kingfisher Dwarf kingfishers build their nests in tiny holes and cavities in trees, keeping their babies out of plain sight. As a result, no fledgling was ever caught on camera, and scientists knew very little about the sneaky bird's life cycle. The bird is the tiniest species of forest kingfisher in the Philippines and is characterized by its striking plumage of metallic lilac, orange, and bright blue spots. It has eluded scientists for over a hundred years because of its behavior. It's difficult to see as it perches quietly and darts invisibly from perch to perch. Then, in 2020, a birding group finally spotted a baby South Philippine dwarf kingfisher on camera. The baby bird was calmly sitting on a branch. Scientists were surprised to learn that the fledglings change the color of their beak from black to orange as they grow older, a fact that, prior to this photo, was unknown. Researchers will be able to use these photos to further study these spectacular birds and find out how they could protect them. Great name, too! <laughs> Epic Little Birds! Pink Dolphins of the Amazon Botos, or Amazon River Dolphins, are pink, quiet, solitary, blind mythical mammals. But the reality is, they're actually real and not mythical. The Amazon River Dolphin lives only in freshwater throughout much of the Amazon and Orinoco River Basins in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. It's a relatively abundant freshwater dolphin with an estimated population in the tens of thousands. However, it's classified as vulnerable in certain areas due to dams that fragment and threaten certain populations, and from other threats such as contamination of rivers and lakes. The scientific view of the dolphin is not without its own mysteries. The truth is that the boto, one of the few remaining freshwater dolphin species on Earth, is still something of an enigma. We don't know for sure why this strange dolphin is often a delicate shade of pink, but we like pink. The newly proposed species marks the first new discovery of a true river dolphin since 1918, when researchers identified the Yangtze River dolphin in China. Wild. Tardigrades Tardigrades, at first glance, are intimidating. They have podgy faces with folds of flesh. They have eight legs with ferocious claws resembling those of great bears. Their mouth is also a serious weapon with dagger-like teeth that can spear prey. Fossils of tardigrades have been dated to the Cambrian period over 500 million years ago, but there's no need to worry. Tardigrades are one of nature's smallest animals and can only be seen with a microscope. They're commonly known as water bears. Tardigrades belong to an elite category of animals known as extremophiles, or critters that can survive environments that most others can't. For instance, tardigrades can go up to 30 years without food or water. They can also live at temperatures as cold as absolute zero or above boiling at pressures six times that of the ocean's deepest trenches and in the vacuum of space. Another amazing survival trick is cryptobiosis, a state of inactivity triggered by a dry environment. The micro-animals squeeze all the water out of their bodies, retract their heads and limbs, roll up into a little ball, and when conditions improve, they unfurl themselves and go about their business. If these 15 creatures were not filmed, no one would believe it. 